iOS 6 was released by Apple in 2012 alongside the iPhone 5, and it was the last iOS version to be led in design by Scott Forstall before the controversy of iOS 6 forced him out of Apple. Prior to Craig Federighi replacing Scott Forstall as the lead developer for the design team, Scott Forstall designed every version of iOS. After iOS 6 released, one of the new features was the new Apple Built Maps app. And this app was a major failure at launch just due to poor performance. Some people even claimed that it was Apple's worst software failure ever. The reason that, at the time, the new Apple CEO, Tim Cook, forced Scott Forstall out of Apple is due to his refusal to sign an apology letter for the Apple Maps launch failure. This made iOS 6 the last version of iOS to feature this iconic skeuomorphic design, which was standard for Apple devices up until this point iOS 6 was available on iPhones from the 3GS all the way up to the 5, which was not really that much compared to what we have now. Most apps continued to support iOS 6 up until 2016. I remember using an iPhone 4 with iOS 6 on it in 2016, and still being able to get most apps that I was able to run on my iPhone 7. I also remember being able to use iOS 6 on my iPhone 3GS and my iPad 2 in 2017 and 2018. In 2019, I noticed more apps dropping support, notable ones being social media apps like Twitter and some messaging apps. While it is possible to download previously downloaded apps on iOS 6, it's nearly impossible to find any apps at all that are new enough to still have server support for iOS 6. All apps from Google were unusable by 2019-2020, including YouTube. Apps like Facebook and Twitter dropped support for iOS 6 a couple of years ago, and they either don't open or it's impossible to log in. Even games no longer function properly on iOS 6. Most games that I try to install immediately crash on startup. The games which do work are newer versions from the era where iOS was flat, so finding a skeuomorphic design on these apps is hard. From what I can tell, most apps drop support for iOS 6 updates around 2014-2015, so that would have been around when iOS 8 or maybe even 9 was out. Some of Apple's own services have not worked for a number of years, including FaceTime, Weather, Stocks, and I've even had a hard time Where's signing into iMessage, iPhone? although there are multiple workarounds to make these services work again using a jailbreak tweak. But from personal experience, I've had a hard time getting these tweaks to reliably work. Although, I wouldn't fault the phone or even the jailbreak developer for that, and more of just how the OS is designed. Features on iOS have came a long way, from new features that have been added over the years, such as the battery tab in settings and notification grouping, to things that were added shortly after iOS 6 came out, like the control center and extra camera modes. The entire OS feels different, but it also simultaneously feels the same. Apple's apps are still laid out the same in general, like settings, camera, messages, and the phone app, but the entire user interface has went from a 3D, realistic look to a completely flat design. iOS 6 had a lot of really cool design elements, such as the charging graphic on the lock screen and the full screen, lock screen music interface, which Apple only recently added back in iOS 16. Using the hardware that iOS 6 was available with is a challenge as well. For the last year, I've been taking my iPhone 3GS around occasionally, and I've managed to experience how iOS 6 is to use. I was completely unable to get a cellular connection with this hardware, and I had trouble even connecting to Apple services such as the App Store and iMessage. iOS 6 really doesn't have any practical use cases in 2024. It's good for maybe playing music, sending some texts over iMessage if it activates properly, which I believe is actually a carrier thing, and that's really all. iOS 6 has been obsolete for maybe half a decade at this point, and that's really pushing it because it really has been obsolete since 2014-2015. And it makes sense seeing as this version of iOS was released all the way back in 2012. It was a completely different era, not only for iOS, but for tech in general. This was when Macs still had DVD drives, it was before Apple Silicon, it was even before phones had biometric sensors, at least most phones. And it's kind of cool to look back and see just how iOS 6 was. I also personally think iOS used to look so nice with a MacBook, looking at iOS 6 and macOS Lion or Mountain Lion together just looks really nice, but iOS 17 and macOS Sonoma do not look like they came from the same team, I'm sorry to say. 
But uh, with all that said, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, a like would be appreciated. And if you want to, you can subscribe to see more content like this. So thank you for watching and goodbye.